Name of my company is Emmanuel House 1 and 2 Incorporated. Emmanuel House deals with an array of people. We have people that's um, mentally, emotionally, physically um, challenged, people that has just been on the street, and we have people that just fell short on some things in their lives. Anybody that's in need of housing, we provide that for them. Employees of Emmanuel House have helped, first of all, through their um, their love, their spirit. Um, this isn't always an easy job to have because you deal with different personalities. You have to bring yourself to where they are, if you would. Uh, meet a person where they are. So they bring about a loving spirit. The need for the guests here and what we provide is housing, safe environment, their meals. We assist them with bathing, with grooming. We assist them with transportation to and from doctors, their medication, the nurses that come into the facility also. Emmanuel House wanted to, to collaborate with Peer because of the talent. Seeing the talent of people that have not used it in so long because of whatever condition or situation they were in, allowing them again to bring back what they haven't used. And I thought Peer would be a wonderful asset to help them with that. Peer Incorporated stands for Portable Educational and Entertainment Repertoire, and it happens to be the organization that I founded back in 1999. We are an organization that takes the arts where it's normally not received. The great thing about it is that we work within the collaborative efforts with other organizations. We have an organization that we have started together between Emanuel House and Peer Incorporated. Uh, called Recovery Unlimited. We want to bring the arts to the facilities that Emmanuel House 1 and 2 have. I had walked away from a drug center. I was on like 90 milligrams of methadone. I didn't have anywhere to go. And the social worker called around and she found Renee. And Renee came and got me. And she took me to her home. I found out I could draw when I was 10 years old. Usually if I get a little depressed, then I'll sit down and draw. If I couldn't do my art, I think, you know, it'd be kind of an empty void there, you know? Yeah. You know, sometimes when you feel like there's something missing and you, you just can't pinpoint it, that's the way I probably would feel. If I could hit the lottery for a million dollars, I'd have them to build a, a, a one big, huge building for everybody that's with Emmanuel House to live in. That's what I do. You know where to go.